A new dinosaur game pretty much just hit the Steam stores and is stated to be coming soon. Nevertheless, even though this dinosaur game isn't technically out yet, I'll be building the hype for it and telling you everything you need to know about Isle of Yore. So Isle of Yore just got announced on Steam but has been active since January 2020. And today I'll be giving you all the information that you need to know about the Isle of Yore the new upcoming dinosaur survival game. Before I get into this video, I just want to say 67% of you guys watching are not subscribed to the channel. I'm trying to aim for 2,500 subs by the end of the year, so every little helps. If you enjoy, feel free to like and subscribe. This video will also be split into different parts. I'll put the timestamps for them up on the screen now. Anyways, let's get right into the video. So, Isle of Yore is a multiplayer game that aims to make you experience what it is like to go through life as a prehistoric animal. Similar to the likes of Beasts of Bermuda and Path of Titans, I assume it is a dinosaur role-playing game or survival game where you play as the dinosaur. The game is a survival game. The Steam page states, claim your domain with an animal of your choosing in an environment that best suits your needs, whether it is a dense jungle, treacherous swamps, and a wide open areas of the island all offer unique advantages and challenges to the player. Compete with other players and AI in a bid of supremacy and survival in a food chain. To add to this, gameplay centers around raising and taking care of the animal you have chosen, which I assume will of course mean hunting, looking for water and other tasks that will help your animal survive in the vast Isle of Yore. Balancing your first hunger, stamina, are vital day-to-day -day concerns as you explore the rich environment around you alone or with a pack of friends. The initial batch of animals in the Isle of Yore will be centered around the only playable dinosaur, which is the medium to small theropod dinosaur, Coelophysis. But there'll be a plethora of AI-driven characters stalking the land around you. Future updates regarding this game will flesh out the roster even more, with future animals that include both air and ocean critters. In fact, I can tell you about the roster in this next section, so let's get into the roster for the Isle of Yore. So, Isle of Yore has got their current roster of creatures that they want to be released into the initial phases of the game, and this is all available on their Discord page. There are eight creatures planned for the game, however some of which I don't believe will be playable, which I'll get into the end of this section. On a side note, this list is probably heavily subjected to change or even grow larger as the game is still in very early stages of development. So without further ado, let's get into the Isle of Yours confirmed roster of creatures. Starting with the dinosaurs, we have Coelophysis, Triceratops and Tyrannosaurus Rex. So firstly, the Coelophysis is the first playable dinosaur that you'll come across in the game and to me it looks really good. The Triceratops is something that I actually haven't seen a lot of yet. However, the dinosaur itself can be seen in this gif on the screen now, but can also be seen in this small video clip called Rumble, which I think is a nice little tease for the game. The Tyrannosaurus Rex alongside the Coelophysis is the poster boy for the Isle of Yore. This cute but chunky boy looks very nice and has been shown off quite a bit by one of the main developers. Rexy even has his own bloopers. Chonkosaurus Rex which I know the devs is pretty much using to mess around and is a joke, but come on. We all secretly want to see Chonkosaurus in the game, don't we? I mean, I will. Let's start a petition. Everyone comment it down in the below. Let's get Chonkosaurus in the Isle of Yore. There is also one pterosaur in the game as well. So far, this is Quetzalcoatlus, which was featured in the game's Steam page, and I think it looks incredible. It also has an AI, which was shown off in the Isle of Yours Rumble video. Another thing that was teased on the Steam page is their Diplo Carlos, which I had to take a double take on because, well, I didn't actually believe it was there first. I just thought it was something to do with the shaders of the swamp. But to my belief, it is actually in the game, and they confirmed this in their roster. Coming up next, we see our first creatures to arise from the dinosaurs. Basilosaurus, a mammalian whale creature that occurred after the dinosaurs and this is a really good example to show this game is not restricted to just dinosaurs and will expand to other eras. I wonder what other creatures they have in mind for the future of this game that are not dinosaurs. In addition to this we have two prehistoric fishes Aganodus and Chinlea. These I think will be AI, but some other dinosaur games like the Arcotech Project have similar creatures like this 
playable. So we will never know until the devs themselves confirm this. Isle of Yore has a very unique and interesting environment in the game. But like I said in the about part of the game, there is one main island for the Isle of Yore. Well, actually, it looks to be split into two main islands of the Isle of Yore. The islands themselves have a lot to offer, which makes them give off a unique feel depending on which part of the island you are on. There is a huge snow peaked mountain that is on the map, which of course dinosaurs can climb up, but I don't see there'll be any benefit for getting up there apart from being the king of the world, as well as it being one hell of a treacherous journey. There's lakes and forests on the isle, which is common among dinosaur games, much like Path of Titans and Beasts of Bermuda, but these ones I think will have their own unique feel to them. The game also has a swamp area, which has some unique areas in form of plant life. These are lily pads from like a zen image that one of the developers shown regarding this swamp area when which i think looks incredible the swamp also has a thick layer of mist covering it i think this is either just a sky box or some naturally occurring mist that occurs over the swamp biome but it's evident in one of the pictures that the developers show i also assume some fishies will be in the swamp as well. The oceans of Yore are filled with some life at the moment, which is technically a one-up to most dinosaur games that are currently available that do not have oceanic life or even air creatures. With images showing the fishies and Basilosaurus, which can be seen zipping around in some gifs, which the developers have been sharing. So that's pretty much it for the Isle of Yore. What do you think about this game that has just been pretty much announced to be on Steam? You know, full steam ahead as the developers would say. But yeah, what do you guys think about this game? I'd love to know what you guys think. And remember, if you are new to this channel, feel free to like and subscribe. And should I do more Isle of Yore videos in the future, let me know in the comments down below. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and I'll see you in the next one.